Oh, so this is the um, mirror that um, we hearty flex on. So like we just go for a swim, come out, take off the shirt and just just tense up a bit. But yeah, this is our flexing mirror. Or oh, our window. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not even a mirror. The Hukianga is up the far north. Yeah, it's just a small town in between Dargavu and Kaikohe. Hukianga is a, um, a beautiful place. It's well known for its Opo dolphin, who used to live here. A lone dolphin to make the Hokianga Harbour his home. My least favourite thing is all the girls are your cousins. When I look for girls, I, I always um, go to Uncle Google. Got to make sure that we're not close as cousins, like first, second, third. Fourth is all good. Nah. Um, yeah, now there's not a lot to do in the Hokianga, but me and Billy, we make do with what we've got, just swimming if it's hot and we're feeling brave enough. We just talk about like feelings and like girls, mainly girls, not gonna lie. Pretty much just give each other therapy. If we want to say anything, we'll just get it off our chest. I go to Te Kura Kaipapa, Māori o Te Tunga o Hokianga. It is a full immersion te reo Māori school. Me and my family were invited into the school as the first Pākehā whānau to ever join that school. Sometimes I wonder what it would be like to live in a bigger city, but ultimately I'd rather be living here. The Ofo takeaway secret ingredient in all of their cooking is some hacked up Ofo dolphin. <laughs> Good for the soul. <laughs> as soon as I am able to leave this place, I'm going to have to take it. My parents don't want me stuck here. You don't really have as many opportunities here to pursue what you love doing. One of my dreams when I was younger was to play rugby and I don't really think that's going to work, being here because it's so isolated from everything. We've got all the kids here that want to do it and play, but no one wants to volunteer to give up their time. They can't afford gas to take us to the games or to help us train. My dream for the future is to be a builder, a qualified builder. If I could come back and build, um, if I got a whanau, come back and build a house for us. Oh, I just want my, would want my children to have the same sort of lifestyle I had as a child growing up here. I'm pretty blessed to be living the life that I'm living at the moment. So I think that'd be really good to live with my children through and create many good memories in the Hokianga.